Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Convergence. And as we left off, we were running into no help from Mr. Le Frank Lyons Is that there. Right? No, wait, ah. I know this. So let's go back and research that thing he mentioned. The Mineta. I know I actually happened to uh, kind of spoil that a little bit by doing a search on the computer. But now's the chance to actually exercise that. But before we do that, I'm going to search for something else that the game is going to scold me for. Ouch! My computer just shocked me. Maybe you deserved it. What do you mean? I think you know. <laughs> nice try, Chuckles. <laughs> I do like the game that, the, like, that fact that the game actually likes to try and discourage uh, playing a game out of order. Um, but we actually came here to search for the Mineta, and this time it's not going to try and dissuade us. The Mineta is a tavern on the East Village, or in the East Village. It's not too far from my place. Okay. West Village pubs Mineta Tavern, serving the West Village for over 60 years. And then, of course, there's a 58 MacDougall Street. Okay. So, it looks like this is actually a place that we can go. Let's go check out... I'm uh, ready if you are. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Yeah, let's check out exactly how popular uh, Frank Lyons actually was at this Mineta. Because surely if he was well known there, they might know something more that about his death. Huh. It's a portrait of an old man. Yeah, they give us no more details on that. Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. Back room? There's nothing but empty tables back there. Go back there. There's nothing but empty tables back oh. there. It has the exact same reaction. So, a ghost walks into a bar. Don't. Just don't. <laughs> she just looks at him. Alright, let's see. He looks pleasant enough, even though it's practically empty in here. I don't know much about brands, but it seems like decent stuff. Hmm. And Joey's opinion. Oh, and I love the theme being played in the background Has here. Has from days gone by. Ouch, Joey. It's a portrait of an old guy. So you have the exact same opinion as Rosa on that, I suppose. There's nothing but empty tables back there. Years ago, I could tell you what was a good year and what wasn't. Those days are long gone. <laughs> he looks capable enough. I wonder how strong his martinis are. Not that it should matter to you, Joey. You can't drink them. All right, let's engage with the bartender. Hi. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh, no. I'm not here to drink. Go on. Have one. Maybe it'll help you relax. I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah. Is that a problem? No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like that. Cool. How can I help? And if his voice sounds familiar, that's because it is the writer for this game, Dave Gilbert, once again exercising his privilege to be able to voice some of the characters in this game. Alright, well, let's see. Let's ask him about the park gallery, because clearly he'll care about that. Have you ever been to the park gallery? No, sorry. And that's his response to everything that he doesn't know about. <laughs> Does a Monique Stallman ever come in here? Never heard of her, sorry. Hmm. What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? Been here forever. 60 or 70 years at least. Yeah, that's forever. I've only been here a few weeks myself, so I don't know much of the history. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? Okay. 60 I've only... So the exact same thing. Well, let's get to the heart of the matter. Uh, no pun intended. I was wondering if you've seen Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. Really? Are you sure you've never seen Frank Lyons come in here? Yeah, I'm quite sure. I think he's telling the truth. That's odd. But he specifically mentioned this place. Said he was popular here. Hmm. Well, since talking to him as Rosangela is not going to work. Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. 
So yeah, we went to the Mineta. Funny thing, I went to the Mineta. They never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went there all the time. I've never heard of the place. What? You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. But you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... Oh, never mind. <laughs> the Joe Gould Fund. Um, let's ask him about that. Maybe he can clarify more one. Could you tell me well. what the Joe Gould Fund is? Why, you want to donate a couple of dollars? I would, if you could tell me what it was for. For the upkeep and maintenance of Joe Gould's everywhere, of course. Any Joe Gould in particular? Who's Joe Gould? You know what? Never mind. I'm getting a <laughs> headache talking to you. <laughs> okay. Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. Last shoot of the film, then we're done. So yeah, that was an interesting little conversation. So now we've actually heard of Joe Gould. And there's some background noise, of course there is. Hey. Let's see. Joe Gould. Joe Gould, known as Professor Siegel, this West Village Bohemian was a familiar figure during the 1960s. A regular at the Mineta Tavern, Joe Gould was often homeless and often broke. He claimed he was writing a book entitled The, Ent the Oral History of the World, and spent most of his time soliciting money, the Joe Gould Fund, in order to keep working on it. In reality, this book never existed, but his energy and enthusiasm was said to inspire others, other writers, such as Joseph Mitchell. Joseph Mitchell, huh? Well, that's interesting. I wonder if we can do any research on this guy. As you may recall him from Blackwell Unbound. Joseph Mitchell, July 27th, 1908 to May 24th, 1996. Joseph Mitchell was on the staff of the New Yorker magazine for nearly 60 years, from 1938 until his death in 1996. He was known for his plain-spoken essays of eccentrics and unstable people on the fringes of society. Joseph Mitchell is also known for a legendary case of writer's block. After completing his last biography in 1964, he continued to go to his New Yorker office every day until his death, but never completed another article for the magazine. Well, we know that he actually completed one more. And that was Lauren Blackwell's. But of course, they would, he never published that. So there's no way of knowing. Huh. Is it just me, or does it sound like it's raining? Joey, I'd like to talk to you. What is it? I wonder what compelled Joe Gould to write the things he did. Funny, I often wonder the same thing about you. Joey! Hmm. Mean. I wonder what comp- Fun hmm. Alright. Let's see. The Mineta was kind of quaint. Thinking of going out and joining society? Be quiet. <laughs> what does Joe Gould have to do with Frank Lyons? Joe Gould died almost 30 years ago. So what? I died over 70 years ago. Death isn't as final as it used to be. Remember that. I'm reminded every day. Yeah. All right. That's all for now. Sure. So... I don't think Frank Lyons go. is going to help horses, us. Will you? I'm coming. In terms of figuring out this whole Joe Gould thing, but clearly he has some kind of connection to Frank Lyons in some way, even if it's more on a subconscious level. Huh. Well. If Frank Lyons wasn't popular here. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould, or anything called the Joe Gould Fund? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Sometimes I think they should just rename this place the Joe Gould Bar and be done with it. Really? People hear about him and they come in here to ask about him. That's his portrait up there behind you. He died a long time ago. Who was he? He was some homeless guy who wandered the West Village in the 50s and 60s. He told some crazy stories and people found him entertaining, so they gave him money for his food and his beer. He referred to the money as the Joe Gould Fund. He also tried to write a book or something. He never finished it? Nope. Hey, sounds like your soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> Any 
anything else you can tell me about Joe Gould? I don't know much else, sorry. If you want to know more, check in another time. Lots of artist types come in here. They all know about Joe Gould. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's check in with Monique. Come in. Oh, hello. Again? She doesn't seem oh, particularly... Oh, Ilsa, you're back. You make yourself at home. You always do. Hmm. Cute cat. Thanks. But she's not mine. Background she was noise. Just between you and me, she's not very friendly. Frank's cat, huh? Well, maybe she might know something about... Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? Sorry, no. Mm -mm. Sorry, no. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Sorry, no. All right. Tell me about Frank. Frank? He was a solid actor. Not A-list material, but dependable. He could read his lines and hit his marks and look good on camera. He didn't demand much and he was easy to work with. We set him up with an apartment nearby. That was all he needed. That reminds me we still haven't moved his stuff out. I'll have to get on that. Hmm. Frank's apartment. You really rented him an apartment. That's very generous. Not really. The company owns it, and it's rent control. We couldn't pay him much, so it was the least we could do. I am sorry for the background noise, guys. Can you give me the address? Of Frank's old apartment? Why? I just wanted to look around. I ask again. Why? Research. You're very dedicated, but I'm afraid the answer is no. I like money. to give Frank some bit of dignity. She's not just letting people randomly walk around. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. She's a little black cat. I don't recognize the breed. She's wearing a little collar with an ID tag. An ID tag? Hey, kitty. Ouch! She scratched me! Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. Hmm. I just want to take a look at that collar. What does that ID tag of yours say? Ow! Damn it! <laughs> Come on. Shh! I'm not going to hurt you. Ow! Stupid cat! Has that thing had all her shots? Last thing I need is for you to start frothing at the mouth. Come on. Let's be friends, okay? I just want to look at your... Ow! Are you enjoying this? <laughs> Come on, let's be friends. I think this I is... just want to look. Ow! Are you enjoying this? Okay, so that's not working. Look at the way she's staring. It's sometimes easy to forget that animals can see me. Hmm. Look at the. It's some. She can see him. I wonder. She doesn't seem too keen on Rosa getting close enough. Hey, little fella. And this is where we switch to Rosa and employ that dynamic. All right, Let's Elsa. check out the cat. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Hmm. And there's actually an achievement for getting that in one go. I just like how Joey starts playing with the cat, with his tie, no less. The one thing that people can actually physically touch, sort of. Well, that Rosa can physically touch. So now we've got an address. Despite Monique's efforts to prevent us from being able to find it. Frank Lyons, the apartment place. That's Frank Lyons' door. Or at least it used to be. One of Frank's neighbors, I assume. Yep, he's still there. Mm-hmm. One of Frank's neighbors, I assume. Hey, Joey? So let's have a quick chat with him. What could it possibly be? Frank Lyons lived here. Wow. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, I'm not. Just, you know, he was in the movies. Was is right, dollface. Remember that. Don't get starstruck on me now. Nah. <laughs> Another day, another locked door. How do you know that? I know, it's like they lock them on purpose. How inconsiderate. Hmm. 
that's all for now. Sure. Yeah, she doesn't even try this. Sorry about that. Locked. 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 <sighs> well, we could always try the paperclip thing. I mean, that worked before, didn't it? Key? Who needs a key? How's it going there? Oh, just fine. Almost got it. Uh-huh. Any second now. Damn it! What happened? The paperclip broke. It broke? It's jammed in the lock. We couldn't get a key in there now, even if we had one. The master criminal at work. Huh. That's Frank Lyon's door. Or at least it... Locked. So now we have a locked door, and we have... Um... That was strange. She was just jumping backwards. A anyway. Uh, we've actually... In the attempt to try and get in, we have made the situation worse. How can we possibly resolve this situation? Find out next time on Let's Play the Blackwell Convergence. Hope to see you then!